Hello, Taurus. This is your next 24 to 48 hours. This is Sun, Rising, Moon, and Cross Watchers. This is not everybody's story. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Roles can be vice versa. If you would like a private reading from now until the, uh, until the end of Halloween, I am offering, instead of $65, I'm offering a discount, a half hour reading with, private reading with me for $50. Do see the description box below on how to contact me. Okay, let's get into your reading. Okay, we've got the moon for you. Hmm, interesting. Okay, the moon card is about cycles. So you've been going through a lot of cycles and there is a cycle that is about to end. Okay, where it's time to end this cycle. A lot of ups and downs here for you, Taurus. Okay, let's see what else we have. We do have the Nine of Cups. This is Wish Fulfillment. Five of Cups. Nine of Wands. That's amazing. Six cards exactly fill out. The Magician, Two of Wands, and we have Judgment. So what we have here, Taurus, is that, that you have been trying to manifest your wish fulfillment, okay? But right now, you might be feeling at a loss or feeling like there's a sense of regrets here, and you're kind of at this crossroads, and you're not sure what to do now. But you know you're tired of the cycles. You're tired of all the all the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride that you've been on. And you're in a place of trying to make some kind of decision. And you want to you're you're taking some time out. You're you're tired, you're trying to rest, and you're trying to think about what am I going to do now? I know I, I know what I want, but what I thought I want wasn't what I wanted, is what I'm getting. And I feel like you're at this crossroads and you're standing there looking at two roads, two routes. And you may have made bad judgment calls in the past, but you are trying to make your best judgment at this time. You're tired of the cycles. You're tired of the roller coaster. Okay, Spirit said stop. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, you've got roses. Roses represents romance. It re represents love affairs. The butterfly is a social butterfly. So there might be some kind of public romance that you, whether you are, oh, handcuffs. Three black birds. I think, and there's the city. Wow. And cornucopia. Okay. Here is what I get. Okay. You know, there, I think that somebody in your life Maybe out there socializing, they've kind of turned into this social butterfly. They may be flirting with other people and it's out and they're doing it publicly and they're chatting and they're talking. They may be dating. This might be somebody you're not involved with. It might be your wish fulfillment, but you feel like your hands are tied. You're handcuffed in a situation that there's nothing you could do about that except for sit back and watch them possibly move on and cornucopia is abundance uh, money you may be handcuffed tied to money somehow and you're watching somebody else get out there socialize thrive they're transforming and they're talking with other people okay and i think that this is where you're leading at this crossroads trying to decide what you want to do because you don't want to lose this person Okay, that's what I have for you. Bye.